This is my mother, Gay Seifert, and she is my one. I'm Anna George, and my grandmommy is my one. I was diagnosed in March of 1987 when breast cancer wasn't talked about here at all, and uh, I only knew one person, and she wasn't even in the town at the time, who had had breast cancer. I'd heard it in a whisper because people didn't say breast cancer out loud. So I'm very thankful that today we can talk about it. It's on TV and in magazines, and women are learning so much more about it. 32 years ago, when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, I was living in Dallas. The treatment options in Northwest Arkansas are, are not as they are today. So she made the decision to come to Dallas to have um, her surgery and the treatments following. And therefore, I was able to start on the breast cancer journey with her and go through those steps. I was just an infant when she was diagnosed, so she's been a survivor almost as many years as I've been alive. Well, I have to say that she was a little baby, and being at their house and rocking her was, I think, did, had a lot to do with my healing. She was just a precious little baby girl, the first of our six grandchildren. Participating in the uh, Coleman Walk each year uh, with my mother and going to the survivor's breakfast, I honestly feel like I'm with a celebrity because everybody wants to see a 32-year survivor. It gives a lot of hope and encouragement to those that are maybe just starting on the journey. After I had gone through all my treatments, I got to thinking that people need more awareness in Northwest Arkansas, and I found about two other survivors, uh, and we started the first support group outside of Little Rock, which functioned for many, many years, really. And then uh, I got to thinking about raising awareness for the general population up here, and uh, I thought Coleman was the answer. And there turned out to be a group of people very willing to work on it and try to get the work done to get the race started. You have to go through a lot of uh, work to get it even approved for an area. And so I really think that now the, the awareness, the education that Coleman has done over these years has saved a lot of women's lives. We, our mission has been very successful. I remember the very first Coleman race in Northwest Arkansas. I was just in middle school and we got all of our friends together to join a team and it was exciting to raise money for this wonderful organization. And you know, my grandmother's very passionate about this cause, so of course we are. And I've been lucky enough to serve with her on the Pink Ribbon Luncheon Committee for over 10 years and it's just fun to spend that time with her. I just hope that all everybody can support Coleman. I've fundraised for them and supported them all these years. It's made such a difference for women who are underinsured or have no insurance. We're saving lives. Please help us just by continuing your support. Thanks to survivors like Grandmommy and the Komen organization, my generation is more aware of breast cancer and the importance of early detection. And I think Mother just really embodies the spirit of Komen. Her strength, her faith, she's been an example. And at the end of the day, she's made a difference. She walks the talk. Here are two of my three precious great-grandchildren, and I hope that they will know a world without breast cancer.